You know, as a caregiver, I'm learning a lot. And the first thing I've learned is that you must be prepared and ready at any time. I mean, any time. And that's including any emergency moment that might occur. What would happen if an emergency came up and I wasn't around? You know, I, I'm always there to answer all of the doctor's questions. All of that medical information is so critical, so vital to someone's care, especially hers. I just wanted to make sure that I came up with something that would help make me feel better and knowing to reassure all of us that she's going to be well taken care of. I've put together a medical binder for my mother and it's labeled medical binder for. So let's take a look inside of the binder. Now the first sheet what I had done was I wanted to make this as an emergency sheet. As you can see it's titled 911. So in case if I'm not around someone has all of the information right here in this binder. So I would put like her first and her last name um, and her birth date along with our street address and I also included cross streets just in case if someone here is unfamiliar with our area I would put the cross streets there. I would also put a brief little summary of my mom's current medical condition so that the 911 operator can then pass that information along to the paramedics. Down here I have a list of her emergency contacts and I have listed about five of them just in case along with our next door neighbor. Second sheet, this sheet has I had received so many compliments on and when I was with my mom for the first year we were going in and out of ICU hospitals, acute hospitals, you know the whole shebang and Every place was different, so it was really hard to get all of the medical records, you know, there. And so what I've done was I've kept everything in my cell phone. Um, I use my calendar. I've used my memo pad. I would put down everything that was going on day to day. And with that, I was kind of like my mother's walking medical file. And so one day after I started getting a little frustrated on the same questions asked, same questions asked. I wanted to uh, make it a little bit more easier for myself. So what I've done was I've opened up um, Microsoft Word and I typed in a, basically a timeline and this is called medical events for and my mother's name. And it starts from the time that she had her massive stroke and then it has everything of all the highlighted medical events that took place since her stroke. It has like the hospital name, the date of admission, her diagnosis, um, discharge dates, admissions. It would have anything that basically went on. You know, if she had a flu shot, pneumonia shot, she had an infection, um, she had a blood transfusion, a surgery, whatever it was it's all on here now and what I've done too was to make it easier for the doctors who see her when I hand them this they normally kind of scan it through I've noticed so what I've done was I bolded certain words of highlights that I think are very very critical for her care and so that usually prompts them oh she had this okay okay so it was done at this date yes okay so this I've received so many compliments on. I mean, I can't even tell you how many compliments I received on this. It's very unusual for someone to come in and just hand somebody, you know, basically um, all of the medical events that took place. So it also helps out too when my mother is sometimes admitted in a hospital. I'm usually there by her bedside at all times, but there are moments when I have to leave. And when I do so, what do you know? Those are the times the specialists and doctors will come in to assess her and I'm not there and then they don't get the correct answers. So I like to keep a copy of this to 
her nurse, whoever is taking care of her, and let them know that this is available for any specialists or doctors who might have questions. So this is really, really has saved us many times. The next sheet I have here is a list of all of her current medications and it has as of a date here because we've been through so many medications and I really really cut her list by more than I would say 80% she was on a lot of medications and one by one we we're kind of getting rid of a lot of unnecessary medications as she was getting better so <clears throat> to keep make sure that I'm organized and everything is more recent, I had to make sure I kept a list. And everyone in our household who is with her also would know they can refer to this binder to make sure that they're giving the proper medication um, to her every day. So this is really great. And then also it's easy too because if you're at a follow-up even, they always ask for the list of the current medication the patient is currently taking. So this makes it really easy where I can just list them all out from, from here. Now this section, I have it labeled vitals. And my husband and I, we take vitals, my mom's um, blood pressure, her heart rate, her temperature, and her oxygen twice a day. So we just make sure we just have the date, time, blood pressure, heart rate, temperature, and oxygen there. I like to keep it in a um, in a sheet protector of all her history, I guess, of sheets that we go through. I keep it all in here so that when I go to her follow-up, I just hand them the sheet and they like to take a copy of it just so that they can keep it in her medical file. And the doctors always like to see you know, what her range was for the past couple of months. And then if she's in ER, it makes it really great because they want to also know what her normal range is. Um, same thing with paramedics. Sometimes, you know, they like to know, oh, you know, is this high or is this low for her? And then with if I'm not there, they can take a look and say, okay, this is her normal range. So that's always good to have in your binder. The next tab is called routine. And in here, I basically wanted to make sure that her routine was set in place in the binder so that if anyone is with her, again, they can refer to this. So I have listed here her morning, her noon, her evening, and her nighttime routine. The second tab here is titled Doctor, and I just have a list of her physicians. Um, she has a primary, a secondary, and she does have some specialists, which I also have listed. But of course, you can totally make your own um, if you need more physicians. So I turn this page over for her privacy. And what this is, is a copy of her hospital registration form. And on here, it had all of her information, not only her name and her address, her birth date, but it also has like her weight, her height, her ethnicity, her, uh, medica her um, medical insurance information, her group number, her group ID. It had everything on there. So I thought that was a great form to keep in her binder just in case if they need a reference as well. The next tab here is titled reports and I kept it in a, um, a pocket type of um, a pocket type of tab and in there I like to keep all of her um, reports like all of her discharge reports that they give you and it tells you like a summary of you know why she was in there what did they do and it has a list of all her physicians who saw her um, it has a list of her current medications that she left with. It has everything in there. And I also keep the last or the latest blood work lab in there for her as well. So that if anybody has a question as far as like, you know, what was her blood level in this? Or is she diabetic? What was her range or whatever? Everything is all in there. So if a, if a doctor really wants to get more information on something, I have it. The last section here is titled um, POA Health. And this section here is basically a copy of her um, medical directive. 
and the power of attorney for that because everyone keeps asking for a copy of her power of attorney and so I just like to keep a copy of that just so that I have it in case if it's requested. Now, if you would like to create your own medical binder for you or your loved one, um, my suggestion would be is to find a binder either at the thrift store for like under a dollar or even at your Dollar Tree or um, dollar store. You can get your binder there along with your sheet protectors and your tab inserts. That's usually pretty inexpensive there. I would start there. And they also have uh, medical binder templates available as well. I Googled and I typed in medical binders and there were many templates that you can download and print if you don't mind handwriting them in, you know, all your information in. As well as you can find some on Pinterest, but I found it that if I Googled, I found a little bit more. So... Anyways, those are my suggestions for you if, if this is something that you like to do. But as a caregiver, I can't tell you how much um, it reduced my anxiety and stress over if, you know, God forbid, if something, you know, ever happened to me. Um, I know that this binder is going to help with my mother's care if I'm not there. And, um, and you know, it's not bulky at all. So this is really easy just to grab and go. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great week.